Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Tati. And it's your girl, Big P. And we are the main art. We are going to be doing questions that fans are too scared to ask studs. I'm a little stink. Look into the camera. Good girl. You got questions for me that fans are too scared to ask studs. Yeah, but I'm that femme and I'm not scared to ask. So today I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna be getting personal. It's spicy, like I said, spicy. So there's no holding back with this one. Okay, so and I'm answer supposed to be a thousand percent honest. Yeah, I, yeah. Okay. okay. First question is: Does body hair down there for a femme matter to you? Um. It depends. I think it matters when you're dating. It doesn't matter when you're in a long-term relationship. Like if you're just talking to someone and you are like casually or doing that, doing the grown folks business and things, then I think, you know, it's important. It's important to be, you know, to be handled down there. Like a, a sign of good hygiene. If you're in a long-term relationship and y'all been together for years and y'all living together, like that's just not always gonna be the case and then that's fine. But that's fine. That's fine. No, I don't think that's fine. I, I, you gotta I, keep keeping it fresh. Like, yeah. what's the point of keep trying in the in the beginning of a relationship or whatever else, and then what you just stop trying? Because what? It's not about trying. It's about realistic. You know what I'm saying? Like when you dating somebody, you have time to prepare, and and not, it's not about trying or going any extra mile. But it's it's very much so different from living with somebody and them seeing you every single day versus like no oh, yeah of course you going to your boo house for the weekend you make sure things are right things are gone do you guys prefer boobs or butt i, I prefer booty but I, I would love for her to have breasts too like have two pairs of breasts you know what i'm saying she i actually prefer smaller so i'm trying to look at my questions i'm not trying to look at your questions okay next question let me see that booty do so it is <laughs> There you go. <laughs> there it is. Do you guys feel anything when you strap? Yeah, of course. Like, Tell us, what do you feel? <laughs> How did this? Here we go. <laughs> I feel, I feel like it's more so about. It's, it's just like with any type of, I think, like, lesbian sex. Like you get your if you put in the work in, whether that's given oral, you know what I mean you gonna feel something based off of the connection. Like when, when women come together and, and have sex, make love, like it's, a, it's an emotional connection. So while I'm, while I'm strapping, like I'm feeling that, that it's, it, I have an emotional pleasure, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm emotionally connected to you. So me watching you go crazy, cause I'm going crazy, it pleasures me. Yeah, you feel I something. I knew that answer. You know what I mean? But some yeah. people are really like they, they ask that question with time. Well, what do you feel? You know what I mean? But like in a very asked, ignorant way. Yeah. But who asked that question? Who? Who typically would ask a question like that? A male. Exactly. So of course they don't understand. Yeah, right? of course. They don't understand. But I feel like you should be I feel like if you have a, a such a strong connection with someone, you can make them orgasm without touching them. If you if you if you that if you that talented, I believe that if you're that talented, I'm definitely. <laughs> no, if you just if you guys just have a crazy connection and talent, it takes a little talent too. It takes but a talent. <laughs> connection, yeah, for sure. Why do studs wear boxes and sports bra? Blue boxes. That's just what I'm comfortable in. I don't want nothing like I don't want nothing riding up on my waist. I don't want nothing all in my butt. That's not. I don't believe that's every stud. I believe there's studs out there that wear regular bras and that that wear panties and it's to each his own, like it don't matter. But to me, what I'm comfortable in is I'm comfortable in a pair of boxes and it's been that way for a very long time. Sports bras, I've always, I've always, I hated bras when I was young, probably because it's so feminine. Yeah. You know, it, it makes me feel uncomfortable, like. And especially a push-up bra, like. Yeah, honest, like, it's just <laughs> like, it. it's just, it's, for me, it's just, it's too feminine. Since I was in high school, I used to put, like my mom used to buy me Victoria's Secret bras and she used to force me to wear them. I used to put my sports bras over on top of them because you don't want that, you don't want like cleavage, you don't want things, it bounces, you want it to be nice and like secure, supported. No, yeah, so a sports bra does, does it, you know what I mean? Sports bras and boxes all the way. All the way. All the way. Do studs prefer straight girls rather than lesbian femmes? These are so subjective. I think that I think this is it's a mix. You know what I mean? Like, I would 
I would say that so there are studies that are drawn to heterosexual women, but they're probably also drawn to the challenge of, yeah. you know what I mean? Seeing if they could bag them, seeing if they could convert them. Like that shit is fun. Like that, that chase and, and, and con converting, it's, it's fun so that you know what I mean I do feel like a lot of the a lot of my stud friends you know what I'm saying are attractive to straight women mm -hmm. but some a lot of times it doesn't end so well you know so I think that's all that's all subjective as well but I do feel like a lot of studs do like straight women because they like to chase the game yeah I mean the conversion rate okay For real. Why is it weird for a femme to strap a stud? I don't think it's weird. I think it's all about what that person is comfortable with. What that stud is comfortable with. If that stud is comfortable with that and enjoys that, then it's not weird. But there's all. a lot of things that like a, like a femme will do to a stud that um, some studs go, well, that's gay. But how does that make it? It's not technically, you know, it's not How is it gay? It's not You're technically doing... gay, but they're perceiving it as gay because they're not comfortable with it. Those are the type of words we use when we're not comfortable with a situation. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you told me, put these panties on, I'm gonna say, no! I probably won't say, like, that's gay. That's just the way, like, I talk and convey myself in certain situations, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So, to each his own, like, they're very well as studs that don't mind being strapped down, like being strapped down, and there's other studs that's like, no, not doing that, that's gay. Like, if I wanted to be strapped, I would probably be with the dude. That, I don't know, but. But I guess you know, that's, that's a feminine woman too. Like, a lot of people say, well, why would, would you, why'd you want to, you know, why'd you want plastic if you can get a real one? Like, Yeah, I guess I contradicted myself there. But, <laughs> but, it depends on what your preference is. Like, you know what I mean? A lot of studs, they identify as a masculine woman. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, we we full on, full throttle embrace, embrace masculinity. masculinity. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, niggas just don't want that. Someone poking around the... Yeah, like, that's but crazy. <laughs> Do dominant females turn studs off or on? I would say, I would say on, on, but too dominant. Can be off you have to you have to have a balance within your your aggression you can't just be overly and overpowering and overbearing aggressive you know what i'm saying you have you just have to have a balance but again it's to each his own like niggas don't probably want a girl like throwing them on the bed and ripping off their drawers like hold on first of all don't rip my draw like don't rip my drawers off and then throw them on the floor and have them rolled up in a ball like you know what i'm saying like i can take I got this, I'll take it. But it just it just depends. Me personally, it, it just has to it has to be a balance. I can appreciate aggression, but it's gotta be a balance. You gotta you gotta let me get my aggression off too, you know what I'm saying? Like it's gotta be We both gotta show out. Yeah, we, we you know what I mean? But I do, I could I could definitely say I appreciate a feminine woman that can take control. Okay. My boo. Are you always a top? Top. <laughs> like, I'm confused. No, like a top, like a you take control, you're a top bottom. I like say, okay, I would be a bottom. I just, I'm the pinner princess. No, I no, no, not at all. Not at all. We have a, a good balance between who's the aggressor. Like, we have that balance. It's not always me, it's not always you. We, we balance each other out. So, no. <laughs> what you, what you like? Why are you sitting in them because eyes? Because it's so funny because I am literally sitting here and I know all the answers to these questions of what you're gonna say. But yeah, none, none of this is like a surprise to you, obviously. <laughs> Do you wear a tampon or a pad? Damn, like... <laughs> uncomfortable. Do you prefer a tampon or a pad? I prefer a tampon. Okay, so this... Okay, but that's <laughs> not something I wanted to answer. Like, yo, we gonna flip this. Would you ever date a stab? Me? No. I would not date a stab. That's like makeup. Basically, basically a femme, but dresses like... Say like a Tiana Taylor. Uh, like I mean, femme, but still kind of, you know, like... Not for me. But you know what? Yeah, no. No. Not for me. No? Nope. 
I like what I like and I like very feminine women. It just, all of these questions are so subjective. I can't speak on behalf of all studs, but. No, but you can speak on behalf of you. I'm speaking on behalf of me. I'm not into, I never ever dated a, st a stem, nothing like that. Femmes only. Well, that is all we have for um, questions that femmes are apparently too scared to ask studs. Those questions wasn't that bad, but they were definitely a little awkward. Personal. But well, you have to ask me some personal questions. I'm gonna ask you some personal I'm questions. I'm not gonna get uncomfortable. Oh, well, I'm gonna find some very uncomfortable okay. questions. I don't know what I could <laughs> ask, but we, we're gonna get, we're gonna flip this and you guys send me some questions. And drop, drop the questions below and we'll, we'll, we'll flip this. Yes. But they gotta be intense, like uncomfortable questions. I feel like it's, yeah, I feel like it's way more uncomfortable for, yeah. for you guys rather than it is for, for yeah, fans. Yeah, I don't know, we gotta, we gotta really dig dig to get you, get you uncomfortable. You gotta dig, dig, dig. But we hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, do not forget to go down below and subscribe to our channel, Maynard's TV. Leave some comments down below and we will switch this. We'll try and do it on me, see how uncomfortable we can make me. Don't think I'll be very uncomfortable. But we'll still try it anyway. Okay. And then leave a like on this video and we'll catch you guys in the next video. You dig. Mwah.